hey guys welcome to my channel today i will be cooking some black eyed peas um i'll put a video i mean a picture up of the black eyed peas this is a pre-cooked um black eyed peas that i did but i didn't actually cook it completely but just half and half um <clears throat> because I didn't want it completely cooked that way. I also have my pepper, oh peppers here. I got my fish, I got my onion, and I got my Maggi. I have my powder Maggi. I have my, um, my peanut butter right here, the creamy peanut butter right here. So you will need your meat, okay? You will need your meat, okay? Whatever meat you prefer to use is up to you. Turkey, whatsoever, lamb, or whatsoever your preference is, it's fine. So in this pot, what I did was I added my blended peppers and onions and my ghee and everything. And I placed it in this pot with my other uh, meats that I have in this pot right here. Okay? And then I also added my red oil okay so now I'm gonna add my peanut butter okay I'm gonna add some peanut butter no measurements please okay I have no measurements to, you know, to share with you guys but you know this is all that I need for my peanut butter in this pot okay so now once I added the peanut butter in here, I'm going to let the peanut butter cook for about 5 minutes before I added my black eyed peas. Okay, I'm going to add the fish that I showed you earlier at the end when the beans is like almost cooked. Okay, so back to here. Okay, back to here. What I'm going to do now while the um, peanut butter is cooking right now. So basically for some of you that knows how to cook this black eye piggies the African way. Not the American way. The African way. So what I'm doing here, I'm dividing the, um, the beans into, into two. I'm pretty sure it's too much. This is two bags actually that I have in here. Two bags of black eye peas. So make sure your hands are clean, guys. So what I'm going to do, I divided the beans into two. I'm going to smash some with my hand like this, okay? Because I want the beans just like this to look like this and not like this. But this will stay this way. So I'm just going to press it down just like that. Not too much, but just to give you the... You know what I mean? When I found when I found the word that I want to use, I'll put it on it <laughs> on the screen. Yeah. So like that. Okay. So this whole entire section will be like this. Yeah, excuse my little one. Every time you want to do a video, that's the time he likes to just ah. Uh, be part of the mix right <laughs> which I love him too alright I don't know today I just feel like eating beans today guys so I say why not why can't it just be a lazy day and just eat what you want it won't cost that much at all and if it ever did <laughs> it's one life to live y'all you eat good once you're alive now when you are gone people eat for you good you know what I mean so eat good while you are alive guys okay do you okay it doesn't have to be food it can be anything all right so now that I have the beans like this you can tell the difference right yeah Ooh, yep you can tell the difference look Okay, 
So once I have this already pre-smashed like this, I'm just going to give the, the pin about a couple of minutes to dissolve before I added the beans into, into here. I'm not cooking a lot today. Usually I'll be cooking a whole batch. Yeah. Now that the um, peanut butter is already dissolved a little bit, I'm gonna add my smash beans. I'm gonna mix them up, okay? I'm gonna put two hands of smash beans and two hands of the ones that are not smash okay and you just keep adding until you get to the consistency that you want the beans to to look like So as you can see, after that I'm going to let it cook and do its thing. And yeah, so I'm just going to let this water and beans simmer down a little bit I might have I do have um, a little bit left not much I know I will add it later on once the water goes down so I'm gonna come back and then I will show you guys if I need to add more of the balance uh, beans that I have sitting here or not after that it's a wrap y'all okay after that it's a wrap some of y'all should know how to cook by now by watching this channel because my channel is pretty much simple not difficult at all according to my opinion <laughs> you know so yes guys I will get back to you again guys this is cooking down a little bit I'm gonna wait till the water goes down a little bit before I add anything else I will get back to you this is the final product right here of my black eyed peas right here Again, for those of you that might want to cook this particular soup that I just made, just remember that this soup does not require for you to make it extremely thick. Um, mine is in a perfect um, texture of not being too thick, not being too watery. Um, you don't want to make it too thick and then you're looking all over um for soup once you know you empty the soup into a bowl and still can't get you know and your meat is overpowering your your soup so this is a perfect texture that this is in so just a fyi for those of you that might be cooking this stew and some of you that already know how to cook this you already know what i'm talking about you know so because you can eat this with bread as well you can eat this with gari, you can eat this with rice, you can eat this with whatever you chose to to eat it with, okay? Multiple choices, so this is my final product. Make sure you drain the oil, which I will be doing later on afterwards, so 
you know, for cholesterol issues in this country. So you might want to drain some of this oil, uh, which I am going to. But just trying to let people know, basically, if you have too much oil like I did here. So some people might leave it this way because beans tends to soak oil you know so but since it's already cooked that's why it settles up like this so i would drain it off in that kind of way so guys yeah this is my lazy day sunday <laughs> meal uh thank you all for watching this video and i will see you in my next video bye, -bye.